Hey everybody, welcome to the next video in the Big Fitness Pleasure Movement. Today we have a lovely kettlebell workout. So in terms of structure, um, it's very similar, it's exactly the same as the dumbbell accumulator session. So the first day of this video we did, we did dumbbells, we did two exercises rest, three exercises rest, four exercises rest. If you don't even remember, all those eight exercises, exactly the same structure as that, but we've got kettlebell and we've got a whole new range of exercises. Uh, what you need today, guys, is one kettlebell, okay? If you've got two, maybe have one um, just on the side in case any particular exercise is harder, you can just switch in, but ideally, try and do it as one kettlebell. They should all be doable with the same weight. Um, water bottle, make sure you've got one of those, soft floor or a mat. Uh, apart from that, nothing else needed apart from your tablet, your TV in front of you. Um, listen to what I'm saying, try to the volume up, so I'm throwing in technique pointers all the way through. Um, apart from that, guys, all set to go. Your first two exercises, because you'll need to go straight into this. I'll explain each new exercise in a minute's rest. So you'll do 30 seconds, 30 seconds, rest for a minute. Then do 30, 30, 30, rest. One, two, three, four, rest. Okay, get your idea. Rest are always one minute. So you've got plenty of time to get a drink, watch me demonstrate the technique, and we'll crack on. Your first two, you'll need to go straight off the bat, will be a squat and press. Standard exercise, so deep squat, full press, get the kettlebell tucked in here, deep squat all the way up. Do that for 30 seconds when the buzzer goes, you are side lunge. So kettlebell tucked here or down here, whichever feels better, lunge. Okay, let's make for sure both feet point the same way. Kettlebell tucked into the chest, the feet are flat, leg that moves, keep the weight bearing. This leg stays straight, don't be tempted to roll. Okay, keep both feet flat, low, head up, back in, okay? We're all set to go, guys. Have your kettlebell ready. The minute's intro's over, we are cracking straight in. Good luck, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know. Okay, guys, squat press, a deep squat, full press above the head. Keep the kettlebell tucked into chest as you drive. Okay, guys, remember after 30 seconds we change your second exercise, which will be side lunge. The kettlebell just got to stay tucked in to the chest area. Nice deep squat, guys. Get your feet nice and flat. Sit down into that chair. Good guys, tuck into the chest and we side lunge. If that feels uncomfortable in your arms, you can lower. You slide out that way. Do it feels more comfortable, guys, not first foot to one. Just go make sure both feet move flat. And the foot that doesn't move, leg can stay straight. We need to load that leg up, guys. Remember, after each next side, you can get a minute's rest. So by the end, you're doing four minutes of solid work. And then we go to so your rest. So 30 seconds breather. Sorry, a minute's breather. And then we start in exactly the same spot. So let's go and press again. We side lunge again. Then we've got your new one, which I won't do now. Then clean and press on your right side only. So basically, white stance, you come down, half the shoulder, press. Hit the deck, go again. So stick with that one arm, you do not have to change. Make sure it hits the deck each time. Rotate it around the outside rather than flick it over the top. So drive up, rotate on the V, press, full arm, down. Touch, repeat, you must hit the deck. So it's three exercises, then you get a minute's rest. Just make sure you're ready, guys. Squat and press first. Go, guys. Deep squat, full press. Just keep that kettlebell chucked, uh, tucked in, sorry. It never goes lower, never down here. Tucked into the chest, full extension above the head. Mm. Nice guys, tuck it in or down below. Tuck. Get that kettlebell tucked into the middle of the body. Don't let it drag out, get a fatigue of arms. Nice and low in that side lunge. Get leg straight, get leg bent. Both feet flat, facing the same way. No tweaking out. Be 
push it guys, that buzzer, then we've got your right hand, clean press, okay, wide legs, up to the outside of the shoulder, press, touch your deck, go again, do that same arm, do not waste any time switching, your left arm will come next, that's a new exercise after this one, you've got a heavy weight guys, use it, do you know if your technique is solid, Try and use one weight throughout the entire workout. Nice guys, we're done. Mid breather. So we start from the beginning again. You're always starting from that squat and press. One minute breather. This workout should take about 23, 24 minutes today. So your next exercise, as I said before, we clean and press again. We're just on that other arm. It's so up to the outside. Press. You might see me use my arm for balance, my counter arm. That's just my personal preference. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. Try not to hold the hip. Use that to the weights on this side that helps counter it. Squat and press, guys. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you're squatting deep, heels flat. Hey okay, guys, let's go deep squat, full press. The workout today is exactly like that dumbbell one we did. The very first workout, workout number one, we did the accumulator. Same philosophy, using the kettlebell now. Get well tucked in, guys. Good. Tuck it in or down, whichever you prefer. Side lunge. Nice and low. Really load that leg up. There's no point just stepping, guys. You've got to go low. Try and keep looking forward rather than down. Keep the head and chest up. Look forward at the TV or your tablet. Here you go, guys. To that buzzer you don't predict it. There we go, get one down. White starts, right arm. Clean and press. Hit the deck. All the way up, all the way down. Just make sure you're rotating, not flicking. You end up with a bruise on your arm. Make sure you quick pause at the shoulder before you press. Good, so jumps. Come on guys, last one before rest. Push through as many reps as you can. A lovely minutes rest after this. The rest might seem quite long at the moment. By the end you'll need them. Try not to look at the kettlebell when you go down guys. Try and keep the head in line with the body. There you go. Minutes breather. Again, we start from the top. A new exercise. Which is one we haven't done in the videos yet. Squat with figure eight. Now, if you're not done it before, just call start the first round. We're doing just one direction. If you like before, then you can alternate to a couple. Going one way, go on stand a minute, and then a couple going the other. So the idea is that you create a figure eight between the legs, but you squat. So you squat and pass. So in each complete figure of eight, you complete two squats. Okay, so you've got to get low, and you feel confident, switch around the other way. Okay, so that's your fifth exercise. Just make sure you're squatting. When that figure eight is complete, you should have done two squats. Down. Don't look at the kettlebell, feel mm. for it. Keep that up, go. Deep squat, full press. Nice, go 
a side lunge to tuck it in. Low. Remember, leg straight, foot flat, feet point the same way, you've loaded that leg. Push back to the middle, other side. Very important technique wise, guys. No rotating that foot, okay? Keep it planted. Nice, big, wide step. Really load the leg up. Good. Down it goes. Right hand, clean and press. Let's go, guys. Come on, guys. Dig deep. After this one, we go left arm. Make sure you hit the deck. You have to feel and hear it. Stay in control though. So make sure you control on the way down. Go switch arms. No rest, guys. There's no 10 seconds of switching. It's a split second thing. Come on, guys. Dig in. If you do exercise off this, you squat with figure eight. Mm. Lovely. So I keep the feet relatively wide. Pick up the kettlebell. Squat, pass. Squat, pass. Complete figure eight times two. Squats. Look up. Feel for the kettlebell. Don't look for it. You just arch your back. Don't hurt yourself. Deep squats. As low as you can. Feeling confident? Switch directions. Fully up the right. Run, guys. Put a little point on that last one. All the way down, all the way up. Okay, full range of motion between those passing the kettlebells. All right, guys. Six exercises now. The next one we did on the previous Kettle workout, it's everyone's favourites, burpees. We're going to do a kettlebell burpee, so there's no jump involved. Okay? So, next first five, then we do this one. So, ideally, hands to the side, you're out like normal, in like normal, grab the kettlebell, flick it, catch it, press it. Down. It's out, in, handle, under, press. Get ready, guys. That is your sit fix exercise. So now three minutes straight, okay? Make transitions quick. Mm. Kimble up, go. Squat and press first. Dig in, guys. Dig in. Just try and keep moving. And I'm going to piece it again. Quick transitions. Not no faff that you have, 10, 15 seconds. Not even five seconds. Got to make the transition smooth without any wasting any time. Mm. Go. So be like that. Takes a second. Tuck the kettlebell in and go. You don't rest till that mere breather after the last exercise. Going, guys. Keep loading those legs up. Keep them flat. Mm. Feet flat. Right hand, clean and press. Go. Touch. Stick on that same arm, remember. No switching. Do that back straight. The top there. Head up. None of this, guys. Go on, concentrate. Get that back flat. Mm. Switch arms. If we change and go. Come on, guys. Smooth. Concentrate on technique. Don't get lazy and flick it. You don't want to get a nasty bruise. Doesn't feel good. This point here, just flick it over the top, touch. Go again. Just squat figure right after this. A little bit more confident right now, hopefully. Mm. 
Good. Keep your feet quite wide. Pass it. So feeling confident? Do two or three in one direction. When you've done that, stretch it. Keep squatting. Great for coordination. Great for core, because you're just twisting that core. You don't realise at the time, but you are. Mm. Lovely. Let's go burpees. So, double down. I hand on the side. Out, in. Handles. Flick, catch, press. Out, in. Flick, catch, press. Don't feel confident doing it. Do it no, no kettlebell, okay? Flick, catch, press. Try and make sure you're over the kettlebell. Mm. Fingers there. Okay, what you don't want to do, guys, is burpee here, then you have to wander. Do it over, so that's a bit of chest. There. So you're there to pick up and go, okay? All right. Round seven, there's two more rounds to go, eh? Right? Your seventh exercise, crunch and reach. So you're gonna hold the kettlebell, around the kettlebell bit, not the handles. So, the crunch and reach. Okay, feel more comfortable, guys, as you hold my bottom of the handle. That's your seven exercise. Three and a half minutes of solid work. Quick transitions. Get about up. Breathe. Quick drink if you need it. Ready to go. Mm. Go. Squat press. Start from that beginning again. This will be second nature by now. Works through, guys. Dig in now. Down the home straight. Getting near the end. Dig in rounds at the end. So you've got to dig in. Mm. Now me. Tuck. Side lunge. Get low, guys. Get that kettlebell tucked in. Be much better for your arms. You're going to need them, just the workout. Mm. Clean and press, right arm, go. Head up, don't get lazy now. I know you're probably getting tired, your body's going to cheat. You're going to want to get lazy, don't. Focus even more than you have to us so far. Get that head up. You're going to want to arch the back. You're going to want to get lazy. Don't. You don't want to injure yourself. Switch over. Left arm, guys. Still clean and press. Just switched arms. Remember, use that arm for counterbalance. Quick pause at the shoulder, then press. Come on, guys. Dig in. Mm. Lovely. Squat figure eight, wide. So again, feeling confident? Pass it two or three times in one direction, then switch. Head up, don't look down. Squat, you gotta get down low, guys. Low as you can. Then fully upright. All the way down, fully upright. Don't get lazy. Mm. Burpees, guys. So, come your chest out, in. Flick, catch, press. When you go up here, guys. I'm make sure you're there. Flick it, catch it. Mm. Crunch and reach. Hold it 
down the circle a bit, or the bottom of the handles, crunch and reach above the head. Come on guys, last one, full rest. Then we've got your big last round. Four minutes long, involving eight exercises. Seven of which you've done already. So your last exercise is a halo. Be more technical. Very simple in terms of how it looks. A couple of things. One, you must keep your elbows high. Two, try and keep the kettlebell as close to the edge of the head and the shoulders as you can, whilst not Hang yourself. So, camera starts here. Elbows up, rotate it round. Back to the middle, other way. Okay? So, as you're doing it, elbows up, tucked in. Keep it close to the head without banging or rubbing it along, okay? So, one more time, very quickly. Elbows up, in. Elbows up, in. Okay? Tucked, short movement. And wait for shoulder mobility. Let's go, guys. Squat and press. Back to the beginning, come on. Last round. The kettlebell tucked, remember? No lower than shoulders or chest, shall I say. Don't let it drop towards your hips or your knees. Well done, side lunge. Tucked in. Or down low, remember, you can just hang it by its handle. Come on, guys, dig in now. It's gonna really test you. And keep those changes quick. Keep taking the big step. Don't get too short, you can't lunge it like that. Go open it up. Well done. Right arm, clean and press, go. Come on guys, I'm tired. We gotta keep going now. And don't get lazy. Head up. Keep it in line with the body. No arching the back, no dropping the shoulders. Bend the knees slightly. But we're not squatting. A slight bend, pushing the hips out away from you. Remember, use your arm for balance, switch. Oh, didn't touch the floor then. Make sure you're way down, and all the way up. If you make a mistake, don't worry. Move on to the next rep and correct it. One arm, you'll find it a lot better, a lot stronger, a lot more natural feeling. Perfectly normal, don't worry. Mm. Lovely guys. Squat figure eight. Head up, look forwards. So, two or three in one direction, you can do it this last one, come on. We've done that, switch it. Figure eight, stand up, squat, stand up, squat. Bend those knees, not your back. Come on, guys, come on. Fine working, you are, come on. Get into those burpees. So, out, in. Flick, catch, press. Can't do that, guys. Just do the walking version. And keep the flick going if you can. Mm. Have guys crunch and reach. Down we go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Get that kettlebell tucked in as you come up. Full press. Mm. Up we get last one. Halos. 
So, upside down, holding the bottom of the handle. Rotate, elbows up. Keep it tucked in, just in front of the face when you come back. You go those elbows up, keep that cowbell tucked into the back and side of the head. Come on, guys, one more. Come on. There we go. Well done, everyone. Great work. Breathe. Do your stretches. Make sure you concentrate on your calves, your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, and a couple of shoulder ones as well. Get it breathing first, but try to uh, stretch when you're still warm, guys, okay? Well done. See you next video.